Spinal fusion surgery uh, is where we fuse two bones together, or two bones or more together. Uh, this is usually done by removing the disc. After we remove the disc, we put some bone graft in between the two bones, and usually a cage, which holds the space open. And your body will heal the two bones together and turn these two bones essentially into one bone. This is done for many different reasons. It can be done because of an abnormal disc that's causing pain. If a disc is causing pain, then we remove that disc completely and we fuse the bones together. It can also be done very commonly for instability, where the two bones are shifting on each other abnormally, and then we stabilize them with a fusion surgery. Uh, fusion is almost always done uh, with instrumentation, uh, whether it's a plate and screws uh, or screws and rods. And these screws go into the bone they stay in the bone forever. They rarely need to be removed. And they're there to stabilize the bones while the bones heal together. We essentially create a fracture model where we trick the bones into uh, thinking that they're fractured. And the two bones will eventually incorporate the bone graft and heal together as one and become stable. Uh, when fusion surgery is properly indicated, such as for people who have instability or scoliosis. Uh, it can be very, a very successful uh, treatment for back pain and often leg pain as well, as well as neck pain and arm pain. Fusion surgeries are, have been done for decades uh, and uh, can be a very successful treatment for different types of spine problems. And each patient has to be evaluated individually to determine if they're a candidate for a fusion and their surgeon can explain to them exactly what are the chances that they will benefit from a fusion surgery, because not everyone will benefit from a fusion surgery. But I think if it's properly indicated, if it's a last resort, if all other treatments have been tried and have not worked, then for many patients, fusion surgery is a good option for them.